Hi, I'm Jennifer. I have these wonderful cars over here and the thing that got me into the car scene is actually Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. I fell in love with the car. I fell in love with just the size of it, the color, and so when I was talking about what kind of car, if, if I was going to get one, this is my unachievable, is the Lamborghini Gallardo. I, when you're talking Lamborghinis, you're thinking green, yellow, orange, looked at all of them in person, fell in love with the green one, and so bought it, got in at a point where I was able to buy it. Um, growing up in Kentucky, I my achievable dream car was a Corvette. That was my first car, red Corvette C6 and had that for a while. Had it over in Washington State where I work in the biotech and pharmaceutical community and was looking, just checking out cars and got to a point where I was able to buy a Lamborghini Gallardo working at a cancer place. And with that, bought the car, fell in love with it. I enjoyed getting to be in the car community. I, my nickname is Lambo Mom because I have all kinds of kids checking out the car. I talk to the kids and tell them, hey, if you want a car like this, you don't have to be a celebrity, you don't have to be an athlete, work hard in school. That's how I did it. My parents taught me, have a good work ethic, have a good education behind you, and you can achieve all of your dreams. And so this is what, this has been afforded to me. So fell in love with the car and got to a point where I was able to get another one. So the car behind me, two, two days here in Vegas, and just loving it, uh, fell in love with the car Skyardo here and decided, hey, I've got a chance to get a Huracan as well. Did good up in Washington State selling house and was able to get this beauty behind me. Um, I have done only PPF and ceramic coating on both of these cars. This Skyardo here, I bought it and it already was lowered. It had a Super Legera wing and side skirts put on it. It had these nice fossil wheels put on it, and so haven't really had to do much with it. Has an Akrapovich exhaust, which makes it sound absolutely amazing. And for the Huracan behind me, gonna put some tinting on it. Already had it PPF and ceramic coated up in Washington State from one of my buddies up there, Piece to Film Solutions. If you're up there, check them out. They're absolutely amazing. And they just, that there, there's not much need to do to the cars. I have the cars for the enjoyment, not for the speed factor. I love being able to bring it to charity events and bringing it out just for people to see it. I never had much of an opportunity to check out cars as a child, and so being able to bring this opportunity to fans, children and adults alike, it's been absolutely amazing, and I, I love being able to do that with the cars and bringing the joy out there and trying to reverse the stigma of exotic car owners being stuck up and unapproachable. I'm like, hey, if I see somebody looking at the car, I wave them in and I say, hey, come on over, check out the car, get some pictures, have a seat, and depending on what my schedule is for the day, I'll even take you for a ride around the block. Got, got my guy over there, he's a big Shelby fan, and so with that, it's just, he, he me and him actually met thanks to this car, and so it's, it's a passion project of, of ours, getting to take this car out and share it with people. And so he's a big Shelby fan. Here's and his name. James Lucci. And he just, he, he ended up trading his, his Shelby GT500 for this car over here. And so if there was an unachievable dream car right now, it would probably be the Shelby Cobra original. Just absolute beauty of a car. Just being able to enjoy this sun, convertible, weather and just enjoying it. it if we could find one it would be absolutely amazing just getting that nice original and what better place than shelby american to to enjoy a car like that